Jolly Roger Airsoft would like to thank our partners, airsoftpeak.com, Third Law Productions, and the Airsoft in Virginia Facebook page. Today on JRA TV, we make an off four loadout. What is up, guys? It's Noble here from John Badger Airsoft, and today we are going to be beginning our series of loadout creation guides, I suppose, with our Op 4 loadout. So, an Op 4 loadout is actually very simple and practical. Usually, when you're at an airsoft operation, like ones that they have at Balahack, your Op 4, your insurgent kind of players, will be the green team. So, that's why I base this loadout off of a green base. You can do the same thing for a tan loadout, you just have to kind of adjust a little bit. So we're going to start out here with the base, the camouflage, the uh, base clothes that you're going to want to wear. When it comes to choosing a base clothes for an Op 4 style loadout, the key is matched mismatching. You don't really want to wear head to toe the same camouflage because in the real world, that's not what the Op 4 tends to do. They tend to take whatever they can find. So if you're on the green team, you want to pick two different green patterns to wear. As right now, as you can see, I'm wearing tiger stripes with M81 Woodland. That may be a little awkward, but you can do it with any of the green camouflages. You could do Mark Patton Woodland, you could do uh, Solid Green. Don't be afraid to use Solid Olive Drab with one of these. Just kind of mismatch. You want to probably want a different top from a different bottom, and that will really help you sell that insurgent effect more than wearing head-to-toe camouflage wood. You can wear head-to-toe camouflage, but just know it's going to kind of hurt your insurgent look a little bit because you're going to be very matchy-matchy, and you don't want to be matching. This is not a loadout where matching is prized. You really want to be different. You want to look like you've thrown together what you have. And uh, so, yeah, that's what I chose to do here. I went with the woodland pants instead of solid green. Either You can go either way. And I went with this uh, tiger stripe top. You can also do solid OD, standard woodland. Whatever you want to do, just miss, you want to match your mismatching. So you want to match two different green camouflages, if that makes any sense. And if you're doing the tan thing, you can feel free to use multi-cam or ATEX. But I wouldn't use head-to-toe multi-cam array tags because, again, it doesn't really sell the look of the insurgent. You could use multi-cam pants with, say, a tan shirt or a DCU shirt or something else. The same thing applies. You just have to change it up. I wouldn't suggest a multi-cam and a tags. It just kind of looks like you're ever doing it, but that's not important. You can experiment with this yourself depending on your situation. Rambling. Elaborating. Rambling, sir. So now let's talk gear. When it comes to choosing a rig for all your uh, magazines and whatnot, Chest rigs and Atlas gear are really your best bet. You can get a lot of cheap, good-looking chest rigs, $20 for a standard built-in one, or you can go the Molly route too if you really want to. But chest rigs and Atlas gear are the two best bets here. You could also do a battle belt if you really want to, but that's more on the Milsim uh, standard forces side. So you really want chest rig, Atlas gear. You want to stay away from plate carriers because insurgents don't tend to really wear plate carriers that much. They're harder to come by, so if you really want to replicate that insurgent look, uh, I would stay away from the plate carriers. Uh, it's, uh, color does not really matter so much. You can go black, tan, eight, you can go AC if you really want to. Uh, again, it doesn't really matter as long as you're kind of matching, mismatching. You don't want to have a multi-cam plate chest rig, just because, of, especially if you're on the green team, because if you're on the green team but you have a bunch of multi-cam stuff on, you're going to get shot because they're going to think you're on the other team. So really when it comes to color, you're just trying not to confuse everybody. So kind of match, but remember, don't match. You don't want to be head to toe the same color. So that's really the best bet here. Chest rigs, Alice gear are excellent for this kind of thing. Plate carriers, not so much. Now when it comes to gloves, you can really wear whatever gloves you want. No one's really going to look at your gloves. It doesn't matter. But if you really want to go that extra mile, pick out some gloves that are maybe not name brand. I got these at Revelations for some bottle caps, and that's really fun. And under them, I also would, might wear these uh, old cotton gloves. I wore these for a long, long time before I actually got my mechanics gloves. So this would be my choice in, you know, handwear. Just because it's not the mechanics, it's not the Condor name brand stuff. So it does kind of sell that finding whatever you have idea. Fashion man. Also, another thing to note is your pistol, your holster. Now, I would stay when you're uh, being an insurgent. You want to shy away from using your Kydex hard shell holsters because, you know, a lot of insurgents aren't going to have molded holsters for their unique pistols. They're just going to have these uh, regular ones, the ones you can find, probably the Crossman ones. I wouldn't be surprised if people actually use them because you can just pick them up at Walmart. 
So yeah, you want to use a more of a, uh, I'm thinking of the word, it's a soft shell holster. You want to use a soft shell holster more than a hard shell just because most insurgents probably wouldn't use a hard shell holster in their day-to-day -day routine. But if you love your pistol that much, again, it's not a deal breaker. I can understand why you'd want to keep your pistol in your hard shell holster. That's all Joe's fault. So headgear is really one of the most important parts of the insurgent style loadout because it really sells that effect. Now you can use the balaclava for any of those European style insurgent looks or really a general purpose one. But the thing about this is it can kind of get pretty hot and it can be hard to keep your goggles from fogging. So you want to be careful when you're using this one. But again, if you want to use that European theme, this would be probably the way to go. Now, if you don't want the balaclava look, you can run the Shemag, which really gives you that universal insurgent kind of look. It's great for any type of arid environment, and it gives you a lot of different versatility. You can do a special forces look with this just as easily as you can do an insurgent look. So that's why I'm a big fan of the Shemag. It's easy to manipulate. You can also pull it down if you get too hot. I mean, you can tie it different ways. You can tie it around your neck if you get too hot, and you'll be able to relieve some fogging or do whatever. So the Shemag is a very versatile piece, and I highly recommend it for any kind of insurgent look because it really is the stereotypical insurgent style when it comes to these kind of games. And if you wear a Shemag in your head, people will look instantly and say, yeah, the guy's pulling the insurgent look. So, yeah, I highly recommend Shemag. Any color is fine. You can do one of the brighter ones. You can do green like I have now. Um, you can do yellow. It doesn't really matter whatever color you have, but I highly recommend getting a Shemag like this one or similar, just because it gives you a lot of different versatility options in a lot of different loadouts, so it's not just for this Insurgent loadout. Wait. Yeah. Finally, we're going to talk guns. So for guns, really the important part is not what gun it is, it's how you make it look. So if you're using an M4, and you feel free to use an M4 if that's what you have, take off your fancy holographic sight, take off whatever scopes you have on, and use iron sights because that will really help you sell it. And maybe slap some tape on there if you want to or make it look a little dirty used up uh, because that will really help sell the effect. If you have a big holographic sight and uh, one of those flip thingies, magnifier, whatever things, uh, people aren't going to buy it. Now if you don't want to use the M4, you can really use any other kind of gun. It doesn't matter, but the AK is by far the best. Seeing as I don't have an AK, I like to bring up my MP5 because it just kind of gives me that European style. Shotguns are also very good for an insurgent style loadout. I really can't go wrong with one of these. Just because it's you know not your standard tricked out gun, uh, it doesn't have any of the Magpul cool stuff on it. It's just a regular shotgun, so this would be a really perfect thing for you to use if you wanted to. And uh, yeah, you really can't go wrong with shotguns. Your pistol. You can use whatever pistol you want as well. We're not going to say don't use a certain kind of pistol. But the one thing about the pistols is I, uh, again, would sh shy away from the uh, Kydex hard shell holsters and leans more towards a soft shell holster just because it gives you a little more authentic taste. But again, it's not a deal breaker. If you really want to protect your pistol, I don't blame you. I have a little spring pistol, so I don't really care. So, yeah, that's about it for the guns. It's really not anything too strict. Just kind of make yourself look a little dirtier and get into the uh, immersion of the thing. That's cool. So thank you for watching our first loadout guide video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. We would be happy to help however we can in whatever capacity we can. So I would love to hear from you all, the fans. So just especially if you have suggestions or questions for me or any of the guys, we would love to hear them. So leave them in the comments section below. Uh, like if you want to see some more of this stuff. And uh, subscribe if you want to get updated whenever we release this cool stuff. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Happy hunting. Thank you.